Light here and welcome to this day in history for July 28th. July 28th is the 209th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 210th in leap years with 156 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is stumble. As a verb, stumble means to miss a step and fall or nearly fall. It can also mean to walk unsteadily or to make an error or to encounter by chance, as in stumble upon something. As a noun, stumble can mean an unsteady or uneven gait, and it can also mean an unintentional or embarrassing blunder. <laughs> I usually edit my stumbles out or send them to outtakes. <laughs> If you stumble over your words, you might speak in a stuttering or confused manner. Politicians make so many public decisions that they're bound to stumble, make a mistake occasionally. If you stumble upon a rare mushroom, you probably better verify what it is before you eat it. And with that, we're going to start with, oh my gosh, Henry VIII again. <laughs> On July 28, 1540, Thomas Cromwell was executed at the order of Henry VIII of England on charges of treason. Henry then married his fifth wife, Catherine Howard, that same day. <laughs> I'm trying to think how that would be. Your fiance orders the execution of some guy and then you get married later that same day. Well, that's Henry VIII for you. On July 28, 1854, the USS Constellation was commissioned. This was the last all-sail warship built by the United States Navy. It's now a museum ship in Baltimore Harbor. On July 28, 1866, 18-year-old Vinnie Ream became the first and youngest female artist to receive a commission from the United States government for a statue. She was awarded the commission for a full-size Carrera marble statue of Lincoln by a vote of Congress on July 28, 1866, when she was only 18 years old. This is the birthday of children's book writer and illustrator Beatrix Potter, born July 28, 1866. She lived to the age of 77. On July 28, 1868, the 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution was certified. This is the one that established African American citizenship and guaranteed due process of law. On July 28, 1881, Billy the Kid was convicted of murder. This is the birthday of French American painter and sculptor Marcel Duchamp, born on July 28, 1887. He's known for his work in Cubism, Dada, and conceptual art. He lived to the age of 81. The city of Miami, Florida was incorporated on July 28, 1896. On July 28, 1914, the culmination of what is known as the July Crisis resulted in Austria-Hungary declaring war on Serbia, igniting World War I. This is the birthday of Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, born July 28, 1929. The 37th First Lady of the United States, she lived to the age of 64. This is the birthday of American cartoonist Jim Davis, born July 28, 1945. He's the creator of the cartoon Garfield. This is the birthday of American baseball player and sportscaster Vida Blue, born July 28, 1949. Today's song is When Doves Cry by Prince, number one, July 28, 1984. This song was the lead single from his sixth studio album, Purple Rain. When Doves Cry was Prince's first Billboard Hot 100 number one single hitting the number one position on July 7th, holding the spot for five weeks, was the number one selling single for 1984, and after Prince died in 2016, the song charted again, this time at number eight. When Doves Cry by Prince, number one, July 28, 1984. Link in the description. 
And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called, no really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.